Okay, so in this problem, um, you're going to be asked to use power of a point uh, in multiple different ways. Um, so you start by giving that um, just by um, writing in what it is that you're given. So you're given that GF is Y, and you're going to have to find Y. Um, you're going to find that CG is 3. Uh, the ID is going to be X there. Uh, your CI is 4. Um, your HI is 3 and a third and your IF is Y. Now when you're using power of a point, what you want to do is you want to write out your um, uh, equations that you know for sure. Uh, and you never know when you're going to get what you need. And so on this one, for instance, um, we could say that 3 and 1 third Y equals 4X. So that's one equation, but it's an equation with two variables. So we should look to see if we can create one with one variable. Now maybe we can. Um, it turns out that in this problem you can't. So the only other equation you can do is um, y squared equals, and remember, so the, this one came about because uh, you had two chords that intersected inside the circle, so you multiply the segments that go to the circle together um, and set them equal. Well, you do the same thing on this one, except that the, since gf is a tangent, you've got y squared, and then from point g to the circle is gc, which is 3, and then GD, which turns out to be 7 plus X. And so now you've got an equation that you want to solve. And so um, you need to solve this system of equations. So it doesn't matter what you do. You can either substitute in for Y or for X. Um, I'm going to substitute in for X because I think it'll be easiest. So solving this equation, I'm going to multiply by 1 fourth, both sides by 1 fourth, which will give me um, 1 fourth times 10 thirds Y equals X. And 10 thirds times 1 fourth is 10 twelfths, or 5 sixths y. And so now I plug that back in to this equation, and I get y squared equals 3 times 7 plus 5 sixths y. Now I'm going to solve this um, quadratic to get y squared equals 21 plus, um, well, I can cancel that. It gives me 5 halves y. I don't like having a denominator uh, fraction when I'm trying to factor. Um, so I'm going to go through and multiply everything by 2 and get 2y squared uh, equals 42 plus 5y, which would give you 2y squared minus 5y minus 42 when you subtracted the 42 and the 5y. So now hopefully this is going to factor. And so we go in and we try to factor it. And it may not, but we'll, we'll give, it a, give it a try. Um, 42, you could do um, 6 and 7. Well, 6 and 7 look good because if you multiply that 6 by 2, that gives you 12, and the difference between 12 and 7 is 5. So that seems good, and we need a negative 5, so let's make the 6 the negative because we're going to do negative 6 times 2 to get negative 12, and then plus 5. And that, or plus 7, my bad. Um, that does work because 7y minus 12y does give you negative 5y. And then, when you solve this, you, get, you solve it to give yourself y equals 6. And now that you know that y equals 6, you can go find out what x is. The y can equal negative because y is an actual length. And so we, we, we can go ahead and remove the 2y plus 7 because that gives you negative 3 and a half, which isn't true. To find x, you just plug it back in to that equation. That's the easiest one. 5, 6 times 6 is 5, and so x is 5. So six, five, x equals 5, y equals 6 is the correct answer on that problem.